How's it going everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. In the menu we're about to pick this load. It's cars we're going to Oxnard. We are in San Francisco. It's the only load available where I stopped and let's just, let's just jump right into it. Uh, That's the one. Okay, I can go that way. Quick little load, 500 and something kilometers. We're still doing a little short loads because they're awesome. Just, yeah, let me just jump over here and damage my truck a little bit. Yep. I don't know if it did. Realistically, you don't want to be doing that. Well, I'm a little bit of a tug. Okay. We're good to go. Let's get the flock out of here. Okay, and okay, we're good on sleep, <laughs> and we're good on fuel. Alright, I need lights though. That is important. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, let's go. Ruh. I got a uh, I got a light in my dash that kind of says my parking brake's on, but it's not. Shouldn't be using boat lanes. I got I got gauges in my hood in my hood in my in my dash that says that I don't have any air pressure. But good news is we have fuel. Yeah. Tilt it down just a bit. It's beautiful. I like the scenery sometimes. Obviously the country, like Washington State, that's awesome. The scenery and that, and I can't wait for Utah to come out. Because I love, I love scenery and I, I don't... I love the city life as well, don't get me wrong, I've lived in big cities like million of people cities I've, I've lived in cities like that but I love the uh, I love nature as well okay we're, we're like right in the core here where are we anyway San, oh this is San Francisco there's the bridge Golden Gate oh it would be awesome if we could travel to sorry didn't see it if we could travel to Angel Island, that would be awesome. That's on my bucket list. Guaranteed, that is on my bucket list one day. There's a Golden Gate. Ah, oh, can I drive on the... I can! Well, I can, but you can. Wait, I've already driven on the Golden Gate. Alright, let's carry on. It's not exciting anymore. Oh, my speed, huh? Oh, yeah? What are you going to do about it? So I've driven on the Golden Gate. I don't remember when. I don't remember where. I'm like, probably like 30 videos ago. What did I do last night again? That's how bad my memory is. You know, I, I, okay. So I drove on. Thank you, GPS, for reminding me that I drove on that bridge. slowly making our way out of San Francisco now in a previous video we successfully um, transferred this truck which is the Cascadia and myself to our which is now home terminal in San Francisco instead of Fresno now in Fresno I have two Peterbilts 389ers I think that are so my old truck my old Pete and a the secondary Pete that I had purchased they are still at that um, garage I assigned a secondary driver to my truck because <laughs> it was parked there for so long without having a driver on it that it was in the negative profits I just forgot about it eh. 
So now we got two drivers working for us on two different trucks, plus myself, of course. I'm just doing small little loads. Uh, they don't pay the best. Yeah, go ahead. They don't pay the best, but they're short little loads. They're perfect for YouTube. I don't think any of my drivers are recording for YouTube. So they can do all the long loads. At some point, I will as well. But I've explained it before that if I do a short load, that takes me about... 25 30 minutes to do a load um, within two hours I can get four loads done but if I do a long load it may take me two hours to do one load we do Camaro so instead of having four videos for the two hour mark I have one video cut you off like this so it's a 50 zone I go 10 over cruise control at 90 kilometers to miles Let's switch back over here and now we're at a 65 zone and we do 100 there we go we are on the road delivering some cars to... I don't know where we're going. I have no idea where... I never know where we're going. But we're delivering some cars in our beautiful, still brand new Freightliner Cascadia. I always forget that name and I don't know why. I love this truck. This is a beautiful truck. This is an amazing setup. And... I've always considered the option or possibility of buying a truck and being a owner operator. This would be my rig. This would be my setup for sure. But I have something else in mind now. Within the next 10 years, I have something else in mind that will not be a semi-transport truck driving across the country, even though that would be awesome. Um, what I plan on doing is gonna be awesome er. So for now, we'll just keep this as a gaming, um, not really a dream, because it's not really a dream, um, a gaming reality, maybe, yeah, that works, Woo! and who? are you like a U-Haul, I'm going to go like U-Haul, we're doing a hundred on the highway, we're passing trucks left, right, and center, no, we're just passing them on the left, Santa Maria, I didn't see a speed limit to slow down, so I'm just gonna book it. I could go a lot faster than this. I'm trying to keep it a little bit realistic because I'd be driving 100. Anywhere I go, I'd be driving 100. 65 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour is 100. Oh, you bastard. Okay, well, okay, you're not that much of a bastard then. You had reason to. Drunk driver. Okay, you can move now. Or speed up, whichever one. I'll take it. Woo! Curvy! We did it. No damage. We did it. I'm surprised. We did it. Woo! <laughs> Nighttime is fun, sure. I'm waiting for daytime. Do we need fuel? No, we don't. Do we need sleep? We could, but we're going to make it. We sh eesh. Oh, yeah, we'll make it. Oh, have some faith in yourself, sir. You're going to make it. Copper. Yeah, I'm going to speed. Yeah, I'm speeding. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Ooh, shit. Sorry. All right, I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm not getting used to this, the uh, the controller. I've never been in control. This is the first year that I start playing with a controller. But when I turn, I still give it little nudges instead of slow. But I do realize that, like, sometimes having little nudges is easier. And a lot of these people, a lot of people that actually play ATS and upload it on YouTube, they have the full setup they have the steering wheel they have the shifter and with the steering wheel you have a lot more control over 
the smoothness of the steering than on a controller. Oh, that's still pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, 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 it switch lanes. Yeah. I'm a pro. I'm a pro at nothing. I am a pro at nothing. Oh, look at the stars. It's beautiful. Is this light, is that flashing? Or is that just, it should just be reflective, right? Yeah, it's just glitching out. On the road again, we got 385 kilometers to go again. He's got a B train. Of a food. It's a day cab, driving at night. Okay. There's a reason why they call them day cabs, you know. Just saying. Just saying. Go side by side on a Jeep. What you got? You got yourself a D6. Yeah. That's a nice little tractor. Yeah. Dozer was, bulldozer, was one of the best machines I ever operated. I operated all the machines. Well, not all the machines, obviously. But I've done, I've worked on a grader, an excavator, a backhoe, a loader, um, skid steers. Uh, I've operated farming equipment, the bulldozer, obviously, and, and by this I mean like in real life, not in game life. And I have done it in game life as well, but in real life I've operated pretty much every machine there is. I've driven transport trucks, I've, I've driven ready mix trucks, I've driven, um, I've delivered wood chips to mills, I've delivered wood logs to mills, and um, my last no, not my last. My second last truck driving job, I was delivering gold. Um, not refined gold, but uh, mine gold from underground and then goes to the surface and then goes in my truck and then my truck would... Uh, I had a truck and pup, which is the picture in my profile when I... Hold on. Can I hit escape? This truck. This truck in the corner. So that's the truck, dump truck with a pup in the back. So it was a truck and pup and I used to haul gold out of that to the processing facility and then I went to ready mix driving which I did a uh, ready mix driver in the summer in the winter I would do either excavator operator or loader operator or um, rock truck operator until I decided to no longer work there anymore and get another job as a loader operator which didn't work out and then I'm in the, the and then I'm in the industry that I am in now so when I say bulldozer is the best machine I've ever operated, I'm talking now in real life. It is 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 amazing machine. It is powerful machine. You can move mountains with that machine. And when they say that, they legitimately mean you can move mountains with that machine. It is an incredible piece of machinery. But I think the so that's the best one I've ever operated. As in, that's the most amazement that I've discovered in a machine. And and. It's, it's to have the force and to have the power behind the machine. When you're sitting in that seat and you're actually moving all that dirt, it's a nice feeling. But I think the most enjoyable one, it's, it's between the excavator and the, uh, the loader. Now, now when, I'm, when I mean a loader, I don't mean... So right now in my, the industry I'm in, at my shop, we do have a little loader. But it's a tiny little JCB... Uh, loader it's not even bigger than uh, my work truck but it's perfect for us we offload all our signs and uh, and shipments that we get and it's perfect for snow removal in winter um, the biggest one and and what I mean enjoyment in operating a loader and it's by this machine I, I operated a Caterpillar 980 loader which is one of the biggest loaders that Caterpillar makes it is a massive, massive, massive piece of machinery. That's enjoyable. And then an excavator is enjoyable because it's you're, you're, you're digging in dirt. I'm a boy. I'm a digging in dirt with a big machine. I, I played with them when I was a kid, and now I played with the big ones. So it's fun. It's really fun. Those little skid steers are super fun as well. All sorts of machinery out there. They are all fun. The hardest one that I 
I didn't, it, not really the hardest one, but the, the one that took longer to comprehend is the grader. The grader is a very, very fine trade and you have a lot of levers in there and you have to know your terrain and you have to know your, your machine and your blade and your train and your slope and your degrees. And let's just say that wouldn't be a job for me. I just wouldn't get, I wouldn't see the enjoyment in that. But my grandfather was a grader operator for 40 years in his life. So a lot of people do enjoy it. All right, 230 kilometers to go, two hours and a 55 minutes. We are getting super tired, but I'm hoping we can make it fuel, no problem whatsoever. I'm not liking the truck for one reason. The center console has the GPS. I really liked my Pete because my Pete told me my fuel. I can see my fuel in the secondary GPS, the, like the, uh, the pop-up one. I can see my fuel in there and obviously I can see my gauge in the dash but I can't see my distance that was an easy peace of mind let's try to make this turn there there you go I'm just I like I said I'm, I'm just knobbing at the uh, the controller I'm just I'm just giving it little hits not I'm not the, as smooth as I could be but that will come with time. Oh, is your hundred steady? We haven't had to slow down, knock on wood. We haven't had to stop. We haven't had to turn. It's been a hundred kilometers an hour, steady, 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 and I, it's good. I like it. I like it. Okay, now this is unexplored terrain. So my guess is Oxnard, which is where we're going, right? Is that where we're going? Oxnard? Damn it. Sorry, I didn't mean to go in your lane. I think we're going to Oxnard, which is going... Yeah, we're going to Oxnard. So we haven't discovered Oxnard yet. I don't think so. Not sure. That's going to work towards the achievement, because this is all unexplored terrain. Uh, never mind. I was going to say, don't you have lights on your truck? But no, he does. He's got lights. I like this horn. It's a lot better than the other little baby horn that came with the truck, with the game. Damn it, 150 kilometers. We're not in the red yet for tiredness, though. So I'm thinking we're going to make it. It's going to be close, but we're going to make it. It is 2 16, 17 in the morning on Friday in game okay we'll be driving all night we got an hour and 49 minutes to go There's another day cab A little bit of a steep one, huh? And that was the best turn I ever made with this controller. One of the hardest turns to make and the best one that I made. I'm actually gonna slow down. Just a bit, because there's a few gnarly turns right here. With side-by-side -side traffic. God, just focus on the road. Ooh, focus on the road. Focus on the road. Focus on the road. Yeah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going a little bit faster than what I normally would do. But this truck's got no limits. This truck will just punch it. I'm doing 107. It's got no problem pulling it. 
It's gonna go. I love the turbo. Sounds like my truck. Got a nice turbo sound in my truck as well. Okay, 55, so we're gonna slow it down a bit. Oh. Can I just Yeah, you know what? No, I'm going to keep going. Sorry. Sorry not. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I did, but it did. No, sorry. It's a 55. What are you talking about? Looks like I got damage to my truck. I'm curious that if the damage happened when I was pinning up the trailer. You know, when I had to go over those bumps, the curbs. Looks like I got a bit of damage. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, what's going on here? Who's moving for me? I gotta be in that lane there. Okay, I got it. Third, what kind of spider web do we have going on here? Okay, so not this one, not Bakersfield. What are you? What the? What are you doing? A oh, nice flasher. I'm oh, staying on the highway. You better get out of my way. I ain't joking around here. Okay, Malibu. Ooh, we're in Malibu. I like Malibu. Never been there, but I like it. Okay, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it, our load of cars. We still have to take the screenshot. Don't forget about the screenshot. Don't forget, don't forget about the screenshot. I need a LA. I need a post-it on my monitor to remind me to take the screenshot because I forget all the time. All right, all right, all right. Now this is not unexplored terrain. I've been here before. It was just a different way of getting here. I'm going. Got it. Train tracks. Doop, 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 doop. Oxnard. Okay, so I have been to Oxnard before. Well, obviously. Where you at, bro? Where you at? Huh? Huh? Where you at? Right here? Okay. I got you. I'm going to tell you why I did that. It's dark. Hold on. Let's get some light. go I like that hold on like this like this like this and no boom screenshot all right let's go back in the cab because we're trying to do this as realistic as we can nope wrong way Oh, 
Hold on. No traffic coming, right? I'm gonna transport backing out here. Okay. Urge. Press A. Where do you want it? I'm gonna put that right there. I have no idea where I'm going. It can't be that easy. It would have to be on this side. And I'm gonna have to back in here. Or can I drive in there? What, back here? Okay. Hold on, I can't, I can't go from there, right? No. Jeez Louise, man. Let's see how good I can be. Probably not too good, but let's see how good I can be. You guys, you guys gotta give a little bit. There you go. Concentrate on this. Nobody talk. I'm gonna need third person for this. Yeah, I'm gonna need third person for this. Just for a little bit. I normally wouldn't, but this is gonna be a challenge. quite good but we're, we're better we're, we're in better shape oh hi how's it going Wait, what am I hitting are you kidding me right now The trailer's perfect. Tractor doesn't have to be. It's got to be the trailer. There you go. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. There you have it. The car is delivered to San Francisco. No, from San Francisco to Oxnard. 590 kilometers. Are we leveling up? Are we leveling up? <gasps> we leveled up. We are instructors. Weren't we? Weren't we an instructor? The trailer maneuvering bonus. Urgent delivery. Urgent. Nice. Fragile cargo, proficiency bonus, all in all 73,000, which is actually a good haul, and 4,200 XP. Do we have, we have a skill point, just in time and delivery, apply to this, Ooh, new upgrades available, a new grill, that's it, a new grill, what is this, hub cover, supernova paint. And it's lost. Lost in translations. Gone. All right. Well, that is going to be it for this video, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. 
And if you did, please leave a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as join the Discord server and I will see you in the next video.